Hi, I'm Pastor Brooke Simpson, and um, we're going to do a series of videos which are intended not to teach the scriptures, but to let you as a congregation know where we've been and know where we're headed. A number of you, um, maybe most, maybe not, are aware that we have been working since April with a consulting firm by the name of the Unstuck Group. Let me give you an understanding of why we're doing this, what we've learned, and where we're headed. So let's rewind the tape back to April 2019. Uh, most of the staff went down to Dallas, Texas to Watermark Church where we attended a conference and the title of the conference was, uh, Why Not Us? Uh, the text was John 14 verses 12 through 13 where Jesus tells his disciples that if you are my disciples and you believe, you will do even greater works than the ones you have seen me do. And then he says, if you ask the Father anything in my name, I will surely do it for my Father's glory. And then the speaker of the conference, uh, one of the speakers, he posed this question to all of us as we were sitting there. Concerning Jesus' statement, you will do greater works than these. He said this, why not us? And I'll never forget what I said to Dan Bovenmeyer, who was sitting right next to me. And I won't repeat exactly what I said because it was far more colorful than I'm going to share with you. But I answered the question, why not us? Because of us. That's why not us. Even at that point in the game, as a pastor at Grace Community Church since 1998, I realized there was something hindering us from becoming the very church that we have stated all along that we want to be. You've been at Grace for any number of years. You've heard this. You've heard it repeatedly. We desire at Grace Community Church to be a movement and not a monument. That simply means that we are a church that doesn't want to be an institution that's driven by programs, that just grows by addition, getting people to come to a building, a Sunday morning service, but rather we want it to be a movement, a movement which multiplies leaders, which multiplies disciples, who are disciples that make disciples in turn, and then churches are planted. And to be sure, we have seen churches planted, we've seen people come to Christ, and we've seen great fruit. However, however, if you've been at church, at this church, for any length of time, you recognize that there have been times we have said, hey, we're gonna do this, and then the this we said we're going to do, it just kind of fizzles out. Or we start this initiative, and it kind of goes somewhere, but then it gets bogged down. You've experienced uh, communication bottlenecks. You've experienced what it feels like to feel like e e nothing ever really happens and that it seems like uh, people are not empowered to do ministry. Now, maybe that's not you. Maybe you thought Grace is just an awesome church and you just come on Sunday mornings and you experience a worship experience and think this church is really going places. And I don't, don't get me wrong, God is using us, but God could use us to a much, much greater extent. And so back in, uh, in, in April, we started working with a group called the Unstuck Group. Now, what I'm gonna do right now in this brief video is overview the process that we have been going through and we are going to continue to go through because this is a one year process. This is not a quick, a quick turnaround. So working with the Unstuck Group, we're going through a year long process that it entails four different phases. Phase one, is assess. Assess answers the question, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at as a church? Looking at currently what is the culture of our church? What is our mission? What's happening? What's not happening? Good and bad, strengths and weaknesses. So that's the first phase, the assessment phase. The next phase is planning. Where are we going? Where are we going? And also, how are we going to get there? But this is about vision. Where are we headed as a church? 
What are our goals? What are our strategies? What is God calling us to be specifically? It's a preferred future, a picture of a preferred future. And that's the planning stage. The next phase is assessing our structure. And that answers the question, who does what? Who does what? As a large organization with a large staff and a lot of volunteers, where are the decision-making rights? Who does what? Who empowers whom? How do we empower? Those are the questions we propose to answer in the structures question. And then last is action. After we have determined where we're at, we've determined where we want to head, and we've determined who does what, and we've made some strategic planning and some decision making and some goals, then it's time to come back around and saying, are we doing what we said we set out to do? This is about accountability. This is about assessing the progress that we have made. And then that process happens all over again. Just as we close here, before I go to the next video, which will be next week, um, just want to give you an anecdotal story of uh, a picture an illustration that will help you understand the where we are and why we chose to actually work with the Unstuck group. Looking at our building, if you've been at Grace, you recognize that our building is not adequate. And we've been talking about updating this facility for a long time and we kind of spin our wheels and we don't really do anything. And as we look around this facility, uh, one way to describe this facility is it's a quilt. It's a quilt work. Uh, it was designed originally for no more than 500 people and then we grew and we had to add on and we've grown and we've grown and we've grown and essentially it becomes a kind of like a, an, a poorly designed quilt. A poorly de we just keep adding on and adding on and our church structure is really the same way. What you've seen, the assess, the planning, the structure and the action, that's an overview of where we've been and actually where we've headed. Some of these we've done, some of them were in mid process, some of them we're going to do in the future. But again, my goal as a pastor and the teaching pastor here at Grace Community Church is to keep you as a congregation informed so that you can pray. So what is your next step? You can pray. And specifically, you can join us by taking out your phones and texting 40 prayer to the number 94253. That's 40 prayer to the number 94253. Now what's gonna happen if you do that is you're going to get a daily scripture that will help guide you and direct you in terms of how and what to pray for for the next 40 days. So please take advantage of that. Really wanna encourage you to participate in that. So what we wanna do is prepare our hearts and you prepare your heart before God so that God can use us to do greater things. So tune in next time when we go through the first phase assessment. So thanks for joining us.